Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I would like to show you how to send uh, push notifications from Firebase uh, Cloud Service to your Android application. Uh, so in order to send push notifications from uh, Firebase Cloud, first you need to create a project uh, in the Firebase Cloud. So if you add a new project, um, you can put a name on it and uh, I'm going to call it push notification. And um, you continue and you can keep enable Google Analytics for this project. Um, and you need to select your project, uh, your account, Google account that you want to use for this project. So um, I continue and it's going to take for a while until uh, the project is created. In the meanwhile, uh, I'm going to open Android Studio and create uh, a Hello World application in Android Studio. I am using Android Studio and Giraffe version, and um, that's basically the Giraffe version here. You need to create a new project, and um, since the new uh, project is in Kotlin, I'm going to create it in Java, so uh, I create empty views uh, activity that gives me the Java option. So um, I put a name on it. I can just put push notification. App. And I'm going to select Java uh, and uh, for minimum SDK API 24 is fine. And for build configuration language, I'm going to select Groovy DSL and uh, let's move forward and create our uh, empty views project here in Android Studio. And when the project is created, uh, it's going to be just a hello world type of project. Uh, we're going to run it and make sure that everything works and um, then we will move forward. So uh, you need to have either a physical device to test the application, of course, or your device, uh, you know, virtual device. If you don't have virtual device, you can go to device manager, and install a virtual device. Uh, I have already uh, installed two virtual devices, so I'm going to just select one of them and run my Hello World application. And um, let's wait until our virtual device is initiated and our code runs on the virtual Android device. That's the application that we are creating on uh, the, for the mobile application and sending push notification from Firebase Cloud to this uh, mobile application. So, um, hello world, our code runs, that's perfect. We need just this package uh, name for our uh, Firebase application that we create. So I'm gonna just copy this package name here. And let's go back to the Firebase. So our project is created, so I'm gonna continue. And um, the next step, we're gonna select Android from here for our uh, to create a new app in our project. So select Android, and you need Android package name here that I copied from my uh, mobile application. Uh, we can leave the uh, nickname empty and then register the app. So we register the app and it creates a Google service uh, services JSON file. We need this file. We need to add it to the root of uh, our project in Android. So I'm going to just open uh, this file and uh, and put it in a location 
I put it in a folder, so Google Services Engine that downloaded from here. And I'm going to just drag and drop it uh, in the app, so in the root of our project, root folder, which is app. When you put it here, uh, moving file next thing is progress, will not update this. So you can refactor and yeah, the file is added. Okay, so let's go back to uh, Firebase and uh, let's go to the next step. So in this step, you need to do some changes. Uh, let's select Groovy Build Gradle here because that's what we selected and also Java. So um, we're going to need you know, to do some changes in the Build Gradle in the project level and in the module level. In the project level, we need to add Google GMS, Google Services. So I'm going to just copy this one and add it to the plugins uh, in my uh, project Gradle. So let's open this Build Gradle and add... this line, let me copy it, sorry, that's fine, let's leave it, and um, in the project Gradle level, we need to add two plugins, of course, just following the instruction, I'm going to open the project level here, and add, actually this exists, so we don't need to add it again, um, and Google services, we need to add this one as well. So let's add Google services here. And then the dependencies, we need to add a couple of dependencies. Um, let's add the first one for Firebase. Uh, I'm going to go down here and add dependencies. Uh, another dependency that we need is regarding Google Analytics. We're not going to use here Google Analytics, but I'm going to just add this. And another one which you need it, but it doesn't mention here, is messaging. So I'm going to just copy and paste the last line, the Firebase Analytics, and uh, change the last one to uh, messaging. So that's what we need here. Okay. So this is not mentioned uh, in the uh, Firebase instruction. So you need to add this line as well uh, for messaging. And then um, we need to sync here at this point. Okay, so I'm going to synchronize my um, Android Studio project. So it's synchronized. And we need to see that it's basically successfully synchronized. So, um, so at this point, we need to, um, I can open LockCat here to make sure that I see all the details. Okay, good. Uh, at this point, um, we go to the next step and uh, continue to console. So. There's an extra step that you need to do here, and that's basically to get a token for your push notification. When you want to send a push notification from Firebase, you, you'll need a token. So let's do that and see where we need the token. First, you go to this all products and search for Google, uh, search for cloud messaging. So I find this cloud messaging here, and um, now we need to create uh, our first campaign. And uh, I'm going to just select Firebase notification message. We are not going to do any Firebase in-app messages. So I'm going to choose this one, move forward. Here I need to select um, a notification title. I'm going to just go with test. And for the text, I'm going to go with hello world. Uh, so here we can send a test message. So let's send a test message. And as you can see here, you need to add FCM registration token. So this FCM registration token is generated or should be generated by your mobile application. So uh, let's go back to our Android code and we need to add basically um, something here, which is uh, mentioned in Firebase uh, web page. So I'm going to just copy and paste this uh, URL here, which, you know, uh, the code that we need, uh, you know, is here. So um, I, 
you can find this uh, link or this URL in the uh, under the video. So uh, you need to go and find the part which is regarding getting the uh, notification. So retrieve the current registration token. That's what you need. And uh, we need to select Java because that's what we are developing. And you need to basically uh, select this piece of code, go to your um, activity, and in your onCreate method, you're going to need to add this piece of code. So let's uh, have a look at our code. We need to add a couple of, you know, import some classes and etc. So if I click here, it suggests me to uh, import the class and say, OK, import it. Uh, the other one, uh, we're going to just import. OK, let me see what happened here. OK, import class. And uh, let's import this one as well. For this one. OK, we need to add a task as well. Let's add log. Don't really need the tag, but we can just import this one as well. Uh, and we, we don't, so we, we need the toast. So let's import toast. So the only thing here is basically um, the message. So let's, let's just choose the token, right? We don't need anything else. Let's just get the uh, messages token. And here, instead of the tag, we want to look at a clear message. Let's go with token, right? So I'm going to choose this one because it's easier to find it in the log. And uh, I think our app is ready. So let's run it again and install the app on our virtual device. So when the new app runs, I expect to see, you know, the token as a toasted message here. So this is the token, right? So, but it's really hard to copy and uh, basically save it because it's just toast. So that's why we have this in the uh, uh, in the log. So if you go to this log cat, uh, you easily can see the the token. Right, and uh, if you search here for token, that basically filters for you the token, and this is basically the token, right? This is the, what we added. So this is a, the token. This is a long token, so you need to make sure that you select um, the whole thing, and then we go back to our Firebase. Uh, and add this token here, click on the plus, and I need to close the app in order to receive the uh, push notification. So if we go here and send the notification, you see that the push notification, uh, the notification uh, icon appears here, and this is what we received, test, hello world, okay? I uh, can change it. Hello from Firebase. So you can see. And I need to, before sending this, I need to close, I guess, the app. Let's close the app. And, uh, and there's no notification here. You see that? And let's send a new message. You can choose same. And you see the new notification appears here. Test. Hello from Firebase. I hope that you find this video useful and um, have a good one.